Hi, this is Darren at the Common Pleas Courthouse, and today we're going to be doing a circuit training using the steps as an interval program with strength training at each level. After we walked or jogged up the first level of steps, this first exercise that we're going to do is called a V-up. We're going to engage the core abdominal muscles, which is the erector spinae and the, the abdominals and the obliques of your body, and we're going to do a, a V-up position where you're straightening out to a straight position. Always engage this abdominal wall first, so you're going to squeeze in, not holding your breath, but you're going to squeeze in, tighten this abdominal wall, lean back, and then bring your legs up to a V position, and then back out to a straight position. The best thing with this exercise is not to rush it, not to hold your breath, but try thinking about engaging those that abdominal wall as you're doing it, and you'd be doing sets of 15 to 20 of these, two sets of these on this first level. On this level, we're going to work the latissimus dorsi, the muscles in your back and your biceps and your arms. What we're going to do is we're going to do a, a reverse pull-up. So we're going to lean underneath this bar and I'm going to do a pull-up position. This is a little bit more of an advanced exercise, but you can modify it and I'll show you those modifications. First thing you're going to do is lay down underneath the bar, make sure your back is nice and straight. Again, with any muscle group, you want to engage your abdominal cores first. So you're going to hold this position, you're going to pull your chest all the way up to the bar, and then straighten all the way back down. You always want to do a full range of motion with every exercise. On this exercise, you'll be doing as many as you can do um, with good form, okay? As soon as your form breaks and you start sagging, that's when you want to stop. The modification for this exercise is putting one leg underneath you and actually helping yourself a little bit with that other leg. Because this is an uneven bar, you'll want to do half your sets on one side and then rotate and do half of your sets on the other side. So I'd be doing the second set on this other side, so you equally work the, your back muscles. At this point, we're going to work a little bit more core stability. We're going to bring some rotator cuff and shoulder deltoid muscles into this, and we're going to do a T push-up. Now, a T push-up is engaging, again, every time that you can engage, the more muscles that you can engage, the more calories you're going to be burning, the more muscles are at work. You're going to get more benefit out of your exercise. So this is actually going to be a modification of the T push-up. You're going to get down into a push-up position, keeping your back nice and flat, body straight, muscles engaged, abdominal core strengthened. You're going to rotate your arm underneath your body, roll into it slightly, and then you're going to come up to a T position, and you're going to hold this position until you can, just for a split second, and then you're going to come back down through that rotation, and then back up to the top. Bring it down, rotate this arm underneath you. You're working your deltoid at that point, bringing it underneath, your core is engaged, and you're coming up to a T position. You're working your chest, your deltoid, and your core all at the same time. Okay, now we've walked or jogged our way up to this fourth level. Again, I'm gonna engage the core muscles of the abdominal and the transverse abdominal, and we're gonna do a plank position. This plank position is an isometric move, so really you're gonna hold this position. It's not doing reps on this one necessarily. This is doing just a hold technique. So you're gonna to come to this bridge position. First thing you wanna do is engorge, engage all these ab muscles. You're gonna to come to this plank position, and you're gonna just hold. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is squeeze that belly button up and in, to engage those transverse abdominal, and then you are going to just hold this position. The key to this exercise is not holding your breath. A lot of people will hold their breath on this and that will raise your blood pressure. Some modifications for this plank are raising one arm, holding it, switching, raising the other arm, coming back down, raising one leg, raising the other leg, and as you advance to the program, you can raise one arm and one leg. Again, your body should stay at a vertical position. You don't want to raise your butt up in the air. You want to stay nice and flat and hold this position right here. Okay, we are now on the fifth level of this. We only have one more level to go. With any circuit training, we're increasing intensity as we go up to the top of these steps. So this next one is a cardiovascular exercise that is gonna work the hip flexors in your leg and keep your heart rate going at the same time. The key to a circuit training is strength training at a cardiovascular rate, so your heart should be elevated the whole time. We're near the top here, we can't slow down, so what we're gonna be doing is these strider techniques. Again, these are working your hip flexors. You're gonna come into this position, you're also working your glute and your hamstring on this one. You're gonna come to a bent knee position, and you're gonna rotate, switching, 
legs into this routine. I would do 15 to 25, depending on your cardiovascular level, of these exercises right here. The key to this is not to lean back in it. What you're doing when you're leaning back is you're de-engaging all these ab muscles and hip flexors and you're just letting your body weight throw your legs up there. Actually what you want to do on this is lean forward into it a little bit more. You work a little bit more hip flexors, a little bit more glutes, and you're going to stay in this strider, lean forward right into it, and do 25. When I'm counting these, I'm counting every other footstep. So this is one. I'm going to come to this position. Two, three, four, five. And you're going to do 15 to 25 of these before you move on to the next level. All right, we've reached the top of the steps for the circuit training. What we're going to do now is jump for joy a little bit. We're going to do a plyometric training at the top here. You're going to come down into a squat position. You want to keep your weight on your heels. You want to keep your knees from going past your toes. You come down into a squat position. You're going to explode up and transfer your body weight using your core to change directions. Again, you're going to land in the same position that you started from. You're going to come down into a squat position, explode up, and transfer your weight again. You're working your core, you're working your glutes, your hamstrings, your abdominals, all these in this plyometrics training program. Since we reached the top here, what you want to do is you want to max out on this routine. You're at the top of your circuit, you want to do this until fatigue. So you're going to do this exercise as many as you can do. If that's five times or 25 times, that's how, what you want to do at the top of your circuit right here.